All I can tell you is I stand by the decision we made. I think we made the best decision for all the citizens of the state of North Carolina, for all those that are working, taxpaying citizens and families. And, um, you know, uh, so I think we did the right thing. You may not agree, those on Monday may not agree, but I believe we've been more than fair in our approach to this process. And okay, I appreciate, I appreciate your time. Appreciate that. Well, can, I, can I ask you about voting rights real quick? Yep. What would be the advantage of cutting Sunday voting uh, and early voting? Why, why do that? Why take that away? Well, because of the cost factor, once again. Uh, when I came up here this year, the election officials in my county asked me to cut it back because there are days where there are nobody hardly voting at all, percentage-wise. Uh, and I worked the polls in early voting because when I ran for office, I worked the polls every day that there was early voting. And there are days when there's hardly nobody voting. So is it worth paying what we're paying for people to come by and vote? When you can vote absentee, if you know you're not going to be home or not able, available to vote, you can vote absentee. You can vote early on one of the other days. And you can vote the day of the election. I mean, I think we're more than fair in giving everybody an opportunity to vote. Now, if your county and your municipality wants to offer it on Sundays and you want to offer it more days, I don't have a problem with that. But at the same time, we need to look at what it's costing. And in this country, we all know what day the elections are held on. And if you really want to vote, you can vote. I've never missed a vote in my life. I worked a full-time job all my life, and I've never missed a vote because I knew that it was important that I vote. And I either got up early and made arrangements to vote early that morning before I went to work, or I made arrangements to vote that afternoon after I got off work. And uh, so I think there's more than adequate ways for people to vote. And I don't have a problem with early voting as long as it's not extended to over and over and over again, but it's costing the taxpayers and the state of North Carolina more to operate those uh, voting offices. And uh, if I understand correctly, with absentee ballots, you don't need a voter ID, correct? Absentee ballot, if you know if you send it in, you don't need one. Okay. I do think that's something we need to look at, something we need to cover, because uh, I don't want anybody voting. I want everybody that's entitled to vote. I don't care who they are, where they're from. The, they need to be entitled to vote. Everybody needs to vote if they're entitled to vote. But if they're not an American citizen, they're not registered to vote, then they don't need to be voting. Didn't they look at when they're We did look at that, and that's something we're going to take up again. Yeah, it was an amendment that was proposed, but right. I was there, that they turned it down. And there was, there's going, that's going, I'm Why sure that's going to continue to be looked at in uh, future sessions. Uh, I can't answer it right now, but it will be looked at. I mean, uh, in most processes, you always find that there are better and more economic and more efficient ways to do things, and that's something we'll be doing all along the way. We should never stop looking at processes and, and ways of improvement, process improvement. Why do you think that was turned down? Why do you think that? I'm not sure. Did you vote to turn it down, or did you vote? I probably voted for uh, the uh, the election law that uh, that you're talking about. I'm sure I did. But uh, on voting to turn it down, I probably did that too. Why did you do that? I did it because I thought it was the right thing to do. So you think it's okay for an absentee ballot to be able to vote without well, voter ID? Until we can find a better way, a better process. And that was the whole thing in a nutshell. Great. Thank you. Well, you know, Phil, getting back to the um, people that's on unemployment that was on IBM and stuff like that, people are used to making that big amount up here. So when they need to drop that income, that's one reason why they won't take anything that's out there. Yeah. Well, most people, if they're yeah. making a certain set, yeah. they want what they were making. That's why right. you, you can't. But it can't. Listen, don't say a word to him. That's my mother. I'm telling her not to talk to you. <laughs> oh, am I a bad guy? No, you're not a bad guy, but I know how you guys, all of you in the news media work. You take oh, I'm not you take quirks and, and, and cuts and use what you want to use and throw out what you want to throw out. I don't care if it's me or Erling, you do what you want to do. <laughs> well, let's talk to Erlene then. Yeah. Hi, Senator. Hello. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Great. So, what are you doing here on this thankful Tuesday? I'm here uh, to observe and to hear uh, what the people are here today, why they are here, and to hear their sides of the issues. And you've been you've been a pretty familiar face at the Moral Mondays. Yes. Um. Is is my understanding that? Thankful Tuesday is sort of an opposition to Moral Monday. Yes. Have you heard that? Am I getting that correctly? Yes. Okay. What is it they're disagreeing with? Well, they, they are disagreeing with, I've heard, uh, the abortion issue, uh, unemployment, voter ID, uh, the issues that 
the support of some more Mondays support, I think this is the opposition and opponents, and they are here to support the legislators that support those issues. How do you feel when you hear a fellow legislator say, I don't think that was necessarily right, but I voted for it? Um, well, I disagree with them then, and I disagree with them now. Uh, and um, that's why I'm here to, to observe and to hear what other people are saying on the other side of the issues. And it's the same thing that we heard uh, as the bills were going for. Uh, and um, some of the, the reasons, and, and just an example is, I don't agree with it. I had a problem with uh, the absentee ballots not having a voter ID, but I voted for it anyway. Uh, is something wrong with that picture? Uh, but it just shows, even when you know something is not necessarily right, uh, you will stick with the party of the ideology of your particular political party. And you yourself have almost been arrested a couple of times on Moral Mondays. I've, I've seen it. You think, you think there'll be any risk of arrest here today for anybody? Well, I haven't heard of uh, that. I, I, I don't think so. Uh, I see people being peaceful as we are on Mondays, right. but I don't think that was the intent uh, for this group today. Uh, so I don't think you probably will see any arrest today. Okay, well I guess it'll be a short evening. Yes. Thank you. Uh -huh.